why did I write Art of Agile Product Ownership? Uh, well, two reasons really. I wrote another book a couple of years ago, Little Book of User Stories, and when I was writing that book, to keep it small, I deliberately avoided writing anything about the product owner role. And all the way through that, I felt as if I should be saying something about the product owner role, and I wasn't. Um, so I needed to go back and pick up that stuff. The second and uh, perhaps more important reason was, in, in my experience, lots of product owners define their role quite narrowly or the organisation of it encourages them to take a narrow view of that role. And I really think the product owner role works best when the product owner takes an expansive view of their role and considers their stakeholders and their customers and thinks about how they add value. I really want product owners to do their homework and understand the things they're asking for. First of all, I think the product owner role is the most important role on an Agile team. Everybody comes to product owner role from different angles with different backgrounds. And it's really important that everyone thinks about what the product owner does and they consider how other roles touch on and influence the product owner. I encourage you to read the book. I recommend it because I think it's really important to understand the product owner role.